What's good, everybody? It's Jay Carpenter. Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Take a quick second and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that notification bell. Daily videos dropping over here. But listen, we got to talk about this, man. If you guys have been keeping up with my uh, channel and videos, you may have seen that I've been covering Rapper the Game recently. You know, and all the things he's been doing for publicity, you know, with his last air quotes last album just dropping and um i don't know man it's just i've been finding it kind of corny you know at this point in this guy's career like this guy will just do anything for attention you know what i mean like i don't know what it is with this dude but um you can go back and check out all those other videos like there's a few of them about about the game and you know all the stuff he does to get up in the headlines but He's bringing up an old story here. This is one I've heard him heard him bring up before, but you know he's really going in uh, in a recent interview speaking about this, and that's about how Michael Jackson reached out to the game. He reached out to JC on and was like, "Yo, man, you and Fifty Cent. This is back during the documentary era. I gotta." I gotta um, get y'all together on a song and end this beef. Now, I don't know, man, this could have very well happened. You know, like I'm not saying he flat out made this up, although the way he describes it does sound a little strange to me. You know what I'm saying? He, he said Mike was acting kind of lame. Um, I don't know, man. But anyways, it's like, who's this guy's publicist? It, it does a great job because game is literally in these headlines daily since this album dropped and that is the way it's supposed to be you know when you when you got something new coming out or just came out no question but just this late in this guy's career that he's got to go so hard like this um and can't kind of rely on his talent and his music just kind of says something to me speaks to me but uh you guys let me know which what you guys think in the comments about all this but anyways he said Mike hit him up. He said Mike really had a deep voice, right? All that, like the way you be hearing Michael Jackson sound. Ted ain't how he really sounds. And, um, you know, he said he started quoting the game lyrics to him, telling him he was a big fan. Now, hold the phone a minute there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man, where I'm saying some of this stuff just don't sound right. But he said he started spitting some game bars on the phone. And then he said, yo, what can we do to get you and Fifth on a track together? me michael jackson featuring 50 cent in the game and um the game was like ah, i don't know man maybe maybe not we'll have to see but it it never happened right it just never happened so i don't know man i've heard him tell this story before and of course you know he had to bring it up again recently and that kind of leads me to my next point is um it's been a lot of what he's saying recently has been about 50 cent we know that these dudes had this long beef for many years. You know, we knew the game, you know, would diss and apologize. You know, it was a, it was like a, a three year process, I guess, you know, that kept going, recycling itself. Diss songs, peace talks, peace treaty, back to diss songs over and over. You know what I mean? But they squashed it. They squashed it, you know, and um, I'm pretty surprised because on 50 cents part we already knew the game wanted to make up with 50 you know what i mean but the game or i'm sorry 50 cent does not you know what i'm saying he did he he said flat out i'm like cancer shit just doesn't get old with me you know and um i don't know you know because fifth had talked about how this beef spilled out into real life where you know a, a member of g unit was killed uh that's Lodi Mac, you know, and uh, that involved Jimmy Henchman, who was then managing the game, who 50 Cent still trolls on Instagram. Or actually, I shouldn't call it trolling because it's real life beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? He still takes shots at Jimmy Henchman to this day. But I'm just like wondering, what's all this, uh, uh, you know, trying to get 50 Cent's attention so much? Like, y'all squash the beef, but you're constantly bringing this man up. He's saying, I could bring back 50's career. Uh, a 50 game reunion would be the biggest thing ever. And um, I don't know why he's always calling them the Beatles, man. Like, he always says that broke up the Beatles when the game left G Unit. You know what I mean? Like, it's a strange game that the game's playing where he's begging for 50's attention. He's bigging himself up like crazy. Like, 
you know, with me there, it was it was something else. It was something like the rap game has never seen a force like we had never seen, you know. But I don't know, man. He wants he's trying to get 50 cents attention hard, and it's like apparently he said he's retiring, which you know he's done numerous times. But um, I don't know if he like is leaving the door open that he would come back and do more music if 50 would work with him, or maybe the game is trying to transition into acting you know outside of the music since maybe he really is retiring and uh you know 50 got them acting plugs he got he got uh you know projects on tv that he's a part of producing and directing and everything like that i don't know maybe that's the game's game maybe that's his end game what he's trying to do who knows you know what i'm saying the game got a million lawsuits stacked up judgments against him he's saying he's getting out of the rap game you know he's got trees by game and stuff like that but i don't know maybe that's what it is uh, we've seen him acting waist deep and don't forget belly too y'all <laughs> but um i don't know man i just wanted to point this out you know what i'm saying that uh the game's back at it again back in the headlines begging for 50 cents attention and this time brought in michael jackson you know into the picture and it's you know and um it's almost like a game track on an album i know if y'all heard one of games albums before he's heavy on the name drop you know you know what i'm saying game will spit 10 bars and name 20 people you know it's always uh when i did with the set it's like jim jones you know what i'm saying i hit a home run like ken griffey jr you know what i'm saying that's just how the game is and, and it's rapping and I, I like to do his music but that name dropping got a little old and um i don't know man to me like i said go go check out the other videos on my channel but what this dude's been doing on his way out in the rap game been mad suspect and uh kind of just confirmed to me a lot of the things we've been hearing about him during his career about him being petty about him being bipolar about him being hard to work with about him being weird and everything you know so i don't know man but um I wonder if Game will come out and have something to say about his man's whack and J-Rock incident, you know? Probably not. He didn't really have much to say, you know, when whack, when whack was running his mouth. So, I don't know, y'all. But that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of this whole thing. You know, Game, 50 Cent, Michael Jackson, the attention. What's it all about? Con, you know the headlines every day game got a good publicist man he must but um that's it y'all i'm out if you didn't in the beginning take that moment now subscribe to the channel and don't forget that notification bell i'm out of here y'all peace